This is TOK Artifact Assignment, as presented by Joshua. Self-Portrait with Bandaged Ear is a renowned painting by Vincent van Gogh, a Dutch painter whose life and work are famous for breaking away from traditional social bonds. This renowned painting features van Gogh himself after he cut off his right earlobe, following a violent argument with Paul Gauguin, a fellow painter whom he once idolized. In this traditional three-quarter view, Van Gogh is wearing a blue cap with black fur and a green overcoat, with a bandage covering his ear. Behind him lies an open window, a canvas on an easel, and a Japanese woodblock print, geishas in a landscape. The painting is mainly composed of vertical and pasta strokes, which creates a texture that comes off the canvas and adds dimension to the flat surface. Here's my knowledge question. What role do artists' emotion and personal knowledge play in creating and producing knowledge in the arts? Are they reliable to be shared and understood by everyone? Do they have limitation? Every artist expresses his or her emotion through their artworks to some extent. Like many of his fellow painters at the time, Van Gogh was not, ex not an exception to that. Nevertheless, the self-portrait is often acclaimed as one of the last paintings he drew before committing suicide. Despite having lost his right earlobe, he painted his own reflection in the mirror in order to express how he felt about the situation and reflect on his life. Thus, Van Gogh heavily incorporated his emotion and personal knowledge into his painting. Then a question arises, what role do these elements play in creating and producing knowledge in the arts? Are they reliable to be shared and understood by the wide audience, or are they limited? Artists express their emotion and reflect on themselves by creating artworks. Arguably, art is one of the best ways an individual can express his or her emotion. By expressing their abstract emotion in the form of visual art, the audience can better understand the artist's emotion and personal knowledge. Van Gogh expressed his distress through the self-portrait. This element makes art more personal and communicable to the wider audience at the same time. However, Emotion and personal knowledge are not necessarily be reliable to be shared and understood by everyone. For example, some audience may not be familiar with Van Gogh's life and his situation at the time of his painting. Without prior knowledge and context of the artist, they might find his painting hard to understand. Recently, a sculpture name called Mac Jesus sparked protests in Israel. The artwork features Ronald McDonald, McDonald's mascot, hanging on the cross like Jesus Christ. It was interpreted as offensive to many Christians in spite of the artist's intention to communicate his personal knowledge of society's cult-like worship of capitalism in the form of satire. Likewise, an artist's personal knowledge alone may have limitation to reach the broader audience of people with different perspectives and points of view. This leads us to the final stage of the analysis. Why is this important? First of all, understanding the relationship between the arts and the ways of knowing allows the audience to more appreciate the artwork and the artist's intention. The same, comes, the same concept applies to how individuals look at other areas of knowledge, such as human sciences, history, ethics, and religious knowledge systems. By finding out where the writer's emotion and personal knowledge is incorporated and making a connection between the produced work and the individual, it's vital to enlighten his or her understanding of different ideas and perspectives, thus making the arts a shared knowledge into his or her personal knowledge. Thank you for listening.